Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said in an authentic hadith, La yashkur Allah man la yashkur al nas. He who has not thanked the people has not thanked Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And it's important for us as Muslims to understand this concept of appreciation, appreciating people. One of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's names is a shakur that Allah is appreciative of any little good that we do, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala magnifies it and multiplies it and rewards us for more than what we actually deserve for that act of good. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is a shakur. He's appreciative of any little good that we do. And the little good that we do, it is always magnified. A lot of times we, we say, you know, um, to kind of um, dismiss the things that people do for us. Oh, well, he should have done it for the sake of Allah. Oh, she should have done that for the sake of Allah. Or, you know, get your reward from Allah. It's not that the person is actually looking for a reward because it is not the person's responsibility to uh, request from you thanks. As Allah mentions in the Quran that we feed people and we don't want any thanks and we don't want any reward for what we do. So it's not upon the person to request from you some type of compensation or some type of reward. But it is an individual responsibility on us who the service who was rendered to to show appreciation and gratitude to the person that did it for us. And as the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he said, he has not thanked the law who has not, who does not thank the people. And if you notice, he made a connection between thanking Allah and thanking the people. Because as the scholars mentioned, that if you do not thank people or are not appreciative for the things that people do for you, then most likely you are not grateful to Allah for the things that he does for you. So it becomes an individual responsibility upon us as an ummah to thank especially imams and preachers and teachers when they take out of their time and they invest you know emotionally spiritually religiously you know psychologically as it relates to their knowledge as it relates to their time they sacrifice a lot to give to the ummah to give uh, to the to the community the greater muslim community at large and the least thing that we can do to compensate for that is to show some appreciation and gratitude for that hard work and due diligence.